<laughs> Thank you, Dorothy. Miss Dorothy, can you stop it for us, please? Just so that we know it's you. There we go. There we go. There we go. Miss Dorothy Ann Knight. December 23rd, 1922. December 9th, 1982. Yeah, my scientist is dripping. But no, Miss Dorothy. You have a pinwheel at your resting space. And every time we see a pinwheel, we like to come acknowledge that person. <laughs> Thank you, Dorothy. Miss Dorothy, can you stop it for us, please? Just so that we know it's you. Wow. Thank you, Miss Dorothy. Thank you so much. Well, Miss Dorothy, I hope you don't mind if I come sit by you for a second. If you don't mind, can you stop the pinwheel? Or maybe you do mind. <laughs> I will I come in love, peace, and respect. Make sure y'all can see me. Okay. There we go, Miss Dorothy. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take that as you don't mind. Well, my name is Dalen. I'm with a group of people called the Graveyard Shift. And what we do is we come to resting communities like this and we try to speak to people who maybe or may not have been spoken to in a long time. So I would love to have a conversation with you if you don't mind conversing with me. We can talk through two different ways. You can spin your pinwheel. That lets me know that you're here. Yeah, exactly like that. Can you give me one good spin so I know that you're here with me? I see you trying to make it move. But one good all the way around spin that lets me know that you're here with me. Okay. Maybe she's like, I've shown you enough. You know I'm here. Either believe it or don't believe it. <laughs> well, Miss Dorothy, I can also hear you through this box. So if you feel like verbally communicating with me, feel free to talk and I can hear you through this. And if I do miss anything that you say, I'm going to go back and listen to this. So I won't miss your message. Have no fear. Right under the sun. You don't mind if I get a little comfortable. There's people out here visiting. 
what I've noticed about Las Vegas, there's people in Las Vegas genuinely come visit their loved ones often. Do your loved ones come visit you often, Miss Dorothy? Okay, let's try with the box. Miss Dorothy, do your loved ones come visit you often? I apologize, I missed that. Do your loved ones come visit you often, Miss Dorothy? Can you make the pinwheel stop? Thank you, Miss Dorothy. It sounds like you said that's me. That lets me know that you're here. Okay, now, Miss Dorothy. It will be really cool if you can make the pinwheel and the box have the same responses to the questions that I asked. That will be a form of double confirmation for us, which is really, really cool. So I hope that you're up for it. Do you mind if we ask you a couple of questions? Yes. So do you mind us asking you a few questions about you? Twisted like that. So you don't mind. Okay, good. So Miss Dorothy, let me ask you this. Are you at peace where you are now? Are you with your family on the other side? He's playing with it. He's playing with it. But I feel like we can really use where we go. Grandma. What do you miss the most? Did someone here say that they were sad? It's a cool thing. Do you like the idea of us hearing you through this box? Y'all, let me tell you something. My energy is a little low today, and I'm going to tell you why. I was leaving the hotel. I'm still in Vegas to come out here. Miss Dorothy, I'm going to tell you what happened, Miss Dorothy. You just tell me how you feel. Thank you, Miss Dorothy, because I need to vent. And I appreciate you listening. But I'm leaving at the hotel, and I'm standing in the taxi line, and there's a few other people in front of me. No one has a problem getting a taxi. And then as soon as it was my turn to walk to the taxi, to the, to the, you know, to be the next person in line for a taxi, I look at the taxi guy. He looks at me, and he pulls out the line. I was like, all right, I know what that could be about, but I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you had to go to the bathroom. Maybe you got a cell phone. Maybe your wife's water broke. Cool, whatever. But y'all, then the next cab driver pulls up to the lane. The bellman at the hotel tells him, you know, where I'm going, the address to where I'm going. 
he looks at me and was like, I'm not going that way. And the bellman was like, you're a taxi driver. What do you mean you're not going that way? And this man looks me up and down and says, well, he has to pay a deposit. And the bellman was like, a deposit? I've been working here for years. No one has ever had to pay a deposit. Why are you trying to charge this man a deposit? So I look at the bellman and say, you know exactly why he's trying to charge me a deposit. So then the, the taxi driver says, no, it's 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 a, it's a company policy. And the man was like, I've been working here for years. It's not a company policy. You're treating him that way. And at that point, I was just like, man, I don't even feel comfortable getting in the car with this man. It's cool. And the man and the taxi driver just blew up. I know, right, Dorothy, it was messed up, man. I don't know. It just really made me. Like, I've dealt with stuff like that my whole life. But I just hate that it happened on my way to a shift. Cause like I'd be in a good mood on the way to, to the shift. And then when I come have an issue like that, it just sucks. It just sucks. But then the next guy, the next cab driver who witnessed both things ahead of me, he apologized. And on the way out, he told me, cause he witnessed everything. He even got into it with the cab driver in front of me. He was like, leave, you just leave. <laughs> But on the way out, he told me, he was like, man, it doesn't matter what color you are, brother. He said, man, we're all brothers. And I said, man, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for giving me a ride, because I'm just trying to shift, baby. <laughs> so Las Vegas, man, I'll be it. You got some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful resting communities and some beautiful resting people. Yeah, we got some things we got to work on, guys. <laughs> thank you for listening, Dorothy. I just had to get that about me. I ain't going to talk about it or think about it no more. Miss Dorothy, how is your day going, love? Hey, Dorothy. Good. Yeah. Good. 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 I hope I don't get kicked out the cemetery, y'all. I hope I don't get kicked out, y'all. Did that truck stop? <laughs> Did that truck stop? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not trying to get kicked out no cemetery. So I don't know if this is one of those private cemeteries where people can come in here and record. They don't mind, Miss Dorothy. So, Ms. Dorothy, we were talking about your day. What do you do on a day like this? My young people told me. What do you do? I do. I do. You've been here since 1982. 1982. That's about 40 years. Do you recommend? Let me ask you this. Since you've been on the other side for 40, 40 years, do you recommend it? <laughs> Would you recommend the transition to others? <laughs> That's funny. I'm curious if these responses are going to match the spinning of the pinwheel. <laughs> let me ask you this, Dorothy. Miss Dorothy. Uh, let me let you let me let you reset. You have to stop it for me. All right, thank you. So here's the question, Miss Dorothy. You've been transitioned for 40 years. Are you responsible for watching over other people? No. No. And it's not spinning. Okay. Next question. Even though you don't have the responsibility to watch any others, do you watch over some of your living family and relatives? Do you at least pay attention to them and check in on them? Always. Always. Well, that's a yes. You gotta spin the pinwheel. 
You got to give it a full go around, Dorothy. I see you try. We're going to count that as a yes, Miss Dorothy. No. You seem like a type of person that, that loved and respected everybody, Miss Dorothy. Is that true? I see you trying to spin. Yeah. Yeah, you go. You trying to spin. Did you love and have respect for everybody, Miss Dorothy? <laughs> Let me ask you this. Is there anything that you would like to ask me? He says some naked, something living. I apologize if I missed your question. Miss Dorothy, I appreciate you just sitting down speaking with Tim with me and even spinning your pinwheel for me. Like that really makes me feel a lot better. You made me feel a lot better, Miss Dorothy. Can you do it one more time for me, just so, just, just so I can crank another smile on your boy's face? Can you spin the pinwheel for me one more good time? Uh -oh. Excuse me. Did somebody say? Well, I think they said they drink. My allergies, y'all. Miss Dorothy. Miss Dorothy, I'm gonna have to get up out of here, Miss Dorothy. Oh, everything is just trying to stop me from shifting today. Miss Dorothy, I appreciate you, love. At least we got to clean off your headstone. We got to talk to you through the pinwheel. I hope you enjoyed our time together, even though it was short. I appreciate you, Miss Dorothy. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all, Graveyard Shift family, I have a lot planned for us. Someone made the comment recently. They were like, they, they miss us talking to famous people. Those are way more interesting. I was like, whoa, that sucks. So you're saying everybody, the everyday people, the lives of everyday people aren't interesting? I was like, I feel you. Okay, fine. But I did. I found some interesting stories, y'all. So I got some interesting videos coming really, really soon. But uh, we're going to keep talking to our family members and our everyday people, too, y'all. Because they deserve the same type of love and respect. But I'm going to get up out of here. I don't know what's going on with my allergies. Yeah. We leave tomorrow. We get back to Atlanta tomorrow. So we're going to be back on it, y'all. Love, love, love.